Hey guys. So, um, as soon as CBD oil started to come onto the market and whatnot, people started asking me about it because they all know I'm into essential oils, so I must be automatically into CBD oil, right? But um, I didn't know anything about it for a while. Um, didn't really care to look into it or anything. I was just like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. Um, but a couple of months ago, um, I was dealing with a lot and my anxiety really peaked out and I found myself at the doctor's office over it again. And um, I was really desperate for some relief. So I immediately went to the local CBD store and got the uh, water soluble. And uh, so what it is, it's um, it comes in a little dropper like this. This isn't it, I, just, I didn't grab it. It's still in there in the kitchen. But um, it comes like this, it has a little dropper and you pull the dropper out. I'm gonna show you. See, and you just suck up like that much. Half a dropper is usually the designated amount. And then you pour it, you put it in your glass and then you top it off with water. And so that's the water soluble oil and um, it's supposed to help your body absorb it better. And I was like, hey, you know, I'm game for anything that helps me drink even more water because that's always good. And um, I took it for about a month probably and um, didn't really notice any difference. Okay. Um, and I got the, the, I had the no THC kind and the THC kind, which the THC kind is only like, 0.03% THC anyway, so it's not like it's not going to do anything to you, but I was like the no THC kind isn't helping Maybe the THC kind will but it didn't do anything either. So um, About a month went by after that and um, I started talking to this person on Twitter who owned a uh, CBD oil company, okay, and um, we talked and he we uh, talked about doing a blog post together on the product. So he sent me um, these. It's a it's the CBD oil, just the pure oil. I don't know if that's clear enough where you see it. It might be backwards, I don't know. And then this is a uh, therapeutic salve. That's definitely blurry. Uh, okay, but there's pictures of it on my Instagram and on the blog post, so if you want to get a better look at it. Um, but this is by Feel Good CBD, and, um, that's the company name, and their logo's rainbowy and awesome and stuff, but, um, so I tried theirs, and it actually helped, so I was doing a little research for the blog post that I wrote for them, and, um, which was just a review of the product, so it was not anything, like, super science -y or anything, but I like to be technical and whatnot when I can. So I was doing some research and I found that much like the essential oil and supplement area of stuff products, they're unregulated. Um, CBD oil falls into this limbo with those where they're unregulated. So it's easy for somebody to say it's one thing and put another thing in the bottle. Like it's totally... Well, I don't know if it's quote unquote legal or not, but like nobody's making sure people aren't doing this. So it's really easy to do it. And um, so just like you can get essential oils that aren't actually essential oils, um, you can also get CBD oil that's not actually CBD oil or it's a very poor quality CBD oil. So I'm not gonna say the brand I was using that wasn't working for me. Um, but, and I don't know if it was a crappy quality or if just the water soluble didn't work for me well or what. And there's no way of knowing unless like I take samples of it and send it off to a lab or something and I'm not going to do that because it probably costs money and how do you know go about doing that, go about doing that anyway. Um, but these products have been great for me. So the oil is just the oil tincture. Uh, this is the 300 milligram ones, which has done well for me. They also have, I think it goes all the way up to 100, uh, 1500 milligrams. And um, 
So if you want something more powerful or something, they're 100% organic, which, you know, is something that is great for me. It checks some of my boxes of approval. Um, what you do is you take half a, half a syringe, half a little dropper full, which is about five milliliters, and you put it under your tongue and you hold it there for like 15 to 30 seconds and let it kind of absorb into your, um, that's a direct route to your bloodstream. And then you can swallow and it's got a very pleasant taste. It tastes like grapeseed oil, if you know what that tastes like. It also has, see it has a coconut, fractionated coconut oil, I think. Hemp oil. Where are the ingredients? There they are. Okay, so hemp seed oil, which is different than CBD oil, okay, not the same thing. Grape seed oil, fractionated coconut oil, and terpenes, which I'm not into the world enough to know what terpenes are, but a lot of you are, so it's got those. Um, infused broad spectrum. Yeah, so they have a... Um, this is the all day one. They also have a morning one and a night one so that you can specify your tincture to your needs specifically. This, uh, the therapeutic salve, it is, it has cocoa butter, shea butter, beeswax, coconut oil, hemp seed oil, grape seed oil, terpenes, and CBD isolate. So, um, it has pain relieving qualities. I uh, actually, I've been, I've been experimenting it with it on everything. So what I use it most for is actually a, um, what do you call it? Chapstick, like a, a lip balm, because since I have a allergy to soy, I can't use chapstick or lip balm. I've never found a brand that didn't have soy in it. Um, and that is not fun to deal with. So, but neither are chapped lips. So this has been working really well for me. Um, I did notice that if I overuse it as chapstick, it actually makes my lips more chapped, but I'm pretty sure that all uh, lip balms in that area do that if you overuse them because it teaches your lips not to produce their own moisture. Read it somewhere one time. But um, yeah, so this has been great. I also really, really like, oh, I was going to tell you that I've been experimenting with it and it has pain relief qualities and it actually helped with my oh, uh my ovulation pain last month and um i also had uh some sore muscles from yoga and it helped with that too but um i really really like that it's in this nice little tin can um for one because the aesthetic of it's beautiful and it's more zero waste which is great um but the brand that i had initially tried i also got a lotion of sorts i don't think they called it lotion i think it was something else but um for my eczema which also didn't help and it came okay so i paid like 12 bucks for a sample of the lotion that was about the size of a quarter you know and it was like that big so it was like a really little container y'all and um plastic container at that like a little chapstick plastic container lip balm plastic container and um i didn't use it fast enough and it ate the container so that was frustrating because you know i just paid what i felt was a significant amount for a very small amount like it, it didn't it wasn't proportionate with me at all but it kind of bothered me a little bit but I wasn't in the CBD old stuff I didn't know so maybe that price was okay I don't know but it ate the container and that was not okay um, I didn't even get to use it all because it just kind of crumbled away into nothingness and like I'm not exaggerating it was concerning but and anyone who's into essential oils will tell you that you can't put them you can't store them in plastic containers because that will happen so, same concept here. I don't know if there were other ingredients in it that caused that to happen or if just CBD oil is a corrosive oil like most essential oils are. Um, I don't know the science behind that. I just know that it happened and it was irritating. But yeah, so this is in a little tin container, which is super great. Um, it has a ton... Signi okay. 
the other container I could have put four of that little container in this one so I don't know better quality better um, everything better everything I have no complaints about this brand and I am officially a loyal customer to them I was but yeah so read the blog post there's a coupon code on the blog post if you're seeing this on Instagram I mean uh, well it'll probably be up on Instagram too or uh, if you're seeing it on Instagram send me a message or leave a comment saying you want the link or the um, coupon code and I will get that to you if you're on YouTube watching this it's linked below and then if you're on the blog post watching this it is down below with a link to the website and then there's a coupon code I don't remember what the coupon code is or for how much but I feel like it's like I know it's free shipping in the US but it's also a certain percentage off or something like that I don't know I'm not good with some things but yeah so there's my review and I'll see you in the next video.